Venous thromboembolism, or VTE for short, is a leading cause of death worldwide. In the Western world, someone develops a VTE every 16 seconds. Manifestations of the disease are deep vein thrombosis and pulmonary embolism. The disease process starts often in one of the large veins of the leg with the formation of a blood clot. This can be due to vessel wall injuries, a pathological increase in the coagulability of the blood or circulation deficits such as venous stasis. The resulting blood clot consists mostly of red blood cells held loosely together by strands of fibrin. There is a considerable risk of such a fragile clot or parts of it breaking away and traveling with the bloodstream through the heart and into the lungs. Here, the clot or fragment of clot eventually blocks a pulmonary artery. The consequence, pulmonary embolism. The affected area of the lung is no longer available for the oxygenation of blood. This life-threatening outcome can be traced back to an inappropriately triggered physiological process, blood coagulation. Various medical conditions are associated with disrupted blood coagulation and therefore an increased risk of VTE. For instance, Immobilization heightens the risk of hypercoagulability of the blood and venous stasis. Patients undergoing major orthopedic surgery, such as total hip or knee replacement, have an additional risk of vascular injury.